most of my videos are based on the questions or doubts that you guys send me over dms or in youtube comments right and one question that i get very very regularly is what is your editing process like or how do you edit your videos and the answer is very simple to learn to edit videos you just need to know a few things like j cut jump cut l cut match cut cross cut wipe fade montage okay i'm just kidding you don't have to really know all of these technical terms as a beginner but editing is kind of like love there's a textbook definition for love there are a lot of chemical reactions that happen inside our body when we feel love and you can also see outputs of love manifestations of love but all of this cannot really explain what love really feels like and i can end this video right here and say editing is an instinct it's a feeling you either feel it or you don't you either get it or you don't but uh, my job is to try to dig deeper into that same instinct and share that with you in the simplest way possible so hello and welcome back to the channel everyone today's video is going to be about how anyone literally anyone especially if you're a beginner how anyone can start editing i'm also going to introduce you to an easy af app called in video it lets you create really cool videos with in like a short span of time within just a few minutes and on the app i'm also going to tell you about a very very simple but very interesting editing technique it's a classic editing technique from around 100 years ago that technique is going to let you tell a story in less than 10 seconds so let's get started so what is editing according to me i think editing is telling a story in the most interesting and efficient way possible to an audience so let's split editing into two main aspects on one side you have the storytelling aspect and on the other side you have the tech and tools that will help you tell the story in a better in an easier way let's talk about storytelling first it's about input and output input is all your experiences and your thoughts and the output is the required emotion or the required reaction from the audience and in terms of video editing or film editing you take clips you take footage images sound effects music you combine them you arrange them in a sequence you add some cuts you add some transitions you arrange them in a flow in a sequence that you feel will be right to evoke a particular emotion or a particular reaction from the audience and this output this reaction or the emotion of the audience is the main thing when it comes to editing or storytelling your flashy cuts and fancy transitions special effects everything else is extra so this is the basic mindset that you need to be a great editor so now let's move on to tech and tools by this i mean all the softwares all the apps and all the tools that help you to tell your stories better and in a much more easier way in the world of editing we've come a long long Way. like there used to be a time when editors used to physically cut film and stitch them together to create a sequence but today we have digital editing i personally started basic editing with softwares like uh, windows movie maker and then i progressed to this app called cyberlink power director and now i use adobe premiere pro and which is great which is great for me but it's not so great for beginners and mainly because of two reasons number 1 The interface of these apps can be very very intimidating and as a beginner it takes a lot of getting used to and there's like an ocean of tools even i don't know most of those tools yet and number 2 these apps can be very very expensive they are not pocket friendly at all but thankfully nowadays you have so many more easy to use inexpensive cloud based apps that just let you start editing for free and today i wanted to introduce you to such an app called in video which is a very very easy video creation platform which just lets you make a video within a few minutes even if you don't know editing at all a couple of weeks ago the in video team got in touch with me and they asked me to check out the platform and if i liked it i could talk about it to my audience to my subscribers so before i show you the app i want to tell you that this is a sponsored video but i'm not going to recommend you anything that i would not use myself or that i would not recommend to my friends and family so i've tried it i've tested it and that's why i'm talking about it right now and since it's free it's a great place to get started with video editing so let's go check out the platform i'm going to take you through the platform right now let's go so this is what in video looks like uh, this is what my dashboard looks like on the top you have 
uh, all the existing projects that I've been working on. Uh, I'm not going to get into that, but I'm basically making a few ads for uh, fully filmy. I'm just playing around. So if you scroll down, you can choose from three different things that we want to do. First is you have around 4000 plus pre-made templates. So for example, if you want to create a channel intro for your YouTube channel or if you want to create Instagram story videos, or anything like that based on whatever you want to make they have around 4000 plus templates for you to choose from that can be your base and then you can customize on top of that but we're not going to be doing that today so let's go to the next option which is text to video so you enter any text converts that into video based on different templates that is also not what we're going to do so we're going to make a video from scratch so let's head to blank canvas and I'm going to choose the wide dimension which is 16 is 9 click on make a video this is going to open up my uh, new timeline so this is what my basic timeline looks like this is the timeline so i have to get started with something so on the left side you have a lot of different templates to choose from again you can you know you can choose to build on a template not going to do that today you also have your uploads section where you can upload your different images and videos that is also not something we're going to do i'm going to create a video using just three stock videos so in video has a stock library of over 10 million stock assets from shutterstock and iStock. so i'm going to use a video just using stock videos okay let's see how that turns out so during any point of time while you are editing the video if you have any doubt about any feature if you want any help at all on the lower left hand of the screen you have a live chat option you click that and a conversation with a support agent opens up and you can ask any question that you have they'll help you within like a less less than a minute or less than two minutes so I want to explain this technique like I said it's a very simple editing technique from around a hundred years ago okay for this I need a base video okay so i'm going to search for maybe a girl looking out of a window so i'm just going to search for window over here and let let me see what that uh, gives me i need a happy girl looking outside a window that's what i want let's check this out okay okay Okay, I think this girl works. I think this girl by the window works. So I'm just going to trim this. So if you look at this girl, what is the first thing that comes to your mind? What do you know about her? She is someone who is chirpy. She is looking out at something. She's probably waiting for something. Uh, she probably knows someone who's outside there. Or you know, she looks like a very kind, happy, uh, bubbly girl for the lack of a better word. But uh, yeah, so that's that's what it tells you about her. Now, I'm going to add another clip to the middle, which makes it a little more interesting. Okay, so I'm going to search for a dog. So there's this other girl with a couple of dogs, though they're at a beach, they're a different location, but I think this clip might work. Okay, okay I'm going to add this. This also comes on top of the previous layer. So, uh, okay, now I've added the clip of the dogs at the beach in the middle of the previous video, right? Now check it out. Is there a slight difference in the video? Now you have much more information about this particular character. You thought she was a kind, energetic, chirpy, bubbly girl but you didn't know why now you have a little more information that she's looking at a couple of dogs outside there's also a girl maybe that girl is related to her in some way maybe the girl is her sister or something like that and also that she's a dog lover so it's a very very happy cute kind of a vibe that this video gives now i'm going to replace the video of the dogs with another clip not changing anything else i'm just going to take the dogs out Put another clip inside and then you can decide what her character is or what inf new information do you have right i'm taking this out i've taken the clip of the dogs out and i've replaced it with another clip and now see the difference do you see the difference now i just replaced one clip i didn't change anything from the previous clip 
बट नाउ इट हैज अ कंप्लीटली न्यू मीनिंग नाउ दिस कैरेक्टर इज कंप्लीटली डिफरेंट वॉट यू यूज टू थिंक वॉज शी इज अ डॉग लवर शी इज काइंड शी इज एनर्जेटिक चर्पी ऑल ऑफ दैट स्टॉफ चेंजिंग अ सिंगल क्लिप चेंजिंग द व्यू आउट साइड ऑफ विंडो टू दैट ऑफ अ बर्निंग फायर एंड शी लुकिंग एट दैट एंड लाफिंग मेनियाली एट दैट मेक्स अवर अ साइको so this technique is called the kuleshov effect and it's named after lev kuleshov a russian filmmaker who came up with this technique sometime in the 1910s or 1920s so basically what this technique explains is it shows you how a single shot can have one meaning but if you just add one more shot in the middle it has a completely different meaning it changes the entire context and it also evokes a very very new emotion or reaction from the audience so anyways if you want to learn anything it all comes from experimentation and just playing around with something that's how i've learned most of what i know that's how i've learned editing especially i've not had any formal education any formal training somewhere it's all through just playing around on different apps so if you want to learn editing or need easy templates to just get you started to make videos for a specific purpose or if you just generally want your editing process to be easy go to the link in my description click on it check out in video create a free account it's absolutely free the only thing is you'll have a small in video watermark in your video if you have a free account you'll have a slightly limited set of uh, stock images and resources but other than that you have most of the features so if you're starting out get a free account play around with it if you feel more confident if you feel it's interesting then get a paid account which removes the watermark it has so many more resources if you want to get a premium account that's also not too expensive and also there's a discount code this is the discount code you can use and get 25% off on a premium paid account the paid plan is not compulsory you have access to a free account use that get used to it experiment a lot with it and if you want get a paid plan oh one more thing before i forget i also want to tell you about the in video community so one of the ways that a creator grows right is showing your work to other people and getting feedback and for that in video has this community on facebook and on youtube where you can share your work and you can get feedback from around 20 thousand other marketers and creators who are already on the community that was the video and i hope you've learned something new about editing i hope you have a new interest in video editing as an art form in the future if you're interested we'll be getting deeper into editing lot of technical aspects of it but for now this should be a great starter if you're a beginner i hope you check out in videos app and make a lot of cool videos and if video editing is your thing i hope you keep growing i hope you keep getting better every day because i want to leave you with a quote by this legendary editor called walt to much he's one of the greatest editors alive he's worked on classics like the godfather and apocalypse now and he said something like this editing is very similar to dance you can explain the rudiments of dance but to really learn how to dance you have to dance and on that note thank you so much for watching please hit like if you like this video maybe it'll show up on more people's feed maybe a lot of aspiring editors will watch this see it as a spark and maybe they'll start making videos of their own i really hope that happens but uh, even then thank you so much for watching once again please stay home please stay safe get fully vaccinated very very soon take care and i'll see you next friday